Hey guys, if you have fallen the long path of how to buy affordable and high quality smart TV, you have probably heard about XF75. But is this 4K TV really fast what it claims to be? Or you need to pay more to avoid compromises behind the corner? The Sony XF7596 does promise to deliver sharp and fancy looking IPS edge lit screen. Today we will take a closer look at 49 version, which has 10-bit color and HDR10 support. As one of Sony's best mid-range 4K TVs this year, this TV can deliver as many of the functions as the higher-end models. If you wonder how big window you should buy, you can choose from 43 to 65 inch sizes. It's good to know that 55 and 65 inch versions have direct LED screen, which has even better contrast and screen uniformity than smaller versions. While it might have the massive Android apps and games, it will be still easy to use if you only need YouTube, Netflix or web browser. You can easily connect smartphone to the Chromecast and it also supports Bluetooth keyboards. The design of XF75 is quite practically decent. The shiny black back bezel screen perches on the sturdy plastic fits, which have built-in cable management, but you can also wall mount it. The rear side is very simple with classic black made plastic and, as you can see, the most connections are on the right side. At a glance, the XF75 is very special television. This mostly due to the fact that it has external power supply, while many others have built in. You can connect 4 HDMI, 3 USB and 1 optical device. And we cannot forget composite and headphone socket, which is very useful if you have classic wireless headphones. It's nice that they try install one HDMI and audio port differently, but facing towards the wall it's still far from perfect location. It should be on the left side. You can easily connect antenna, but it is a little trickier to hide thick cable. The remote control seems to have some new buttons, but otherwise it has that comfort Sony remote feel. It got slightly improved layout which improves the ease of use. It is equipped with K for voice control on the top and it also has that special Google Play button. The case press could be less loose, but it still feels nice. The installation process on this Android TV is very quick. You just need to choose the language, location, connections and complete channel search. The XS7596 strongest point is most certainly its Android platform and a well calibrated screen. The list of Android apps is very big, but it still supports only special built Android TV apps. The XF75 has quad core processing with 16 gigs of memory, support for HDR and can produce up to 400 nits of peak brightness. It includes Android 7. We like the way that platform has been improved in the last years, especially when compared to Philips. The basic layout is still the same, but some icons like web browser are really, really very easy to find, even if you're looking right into it. When it comes to picture modes, the TV is factory set to standard mode. If you want best colors, you will need to switch to either vivid or advanced mode for more settings. The XF75 was surprisingly good in certain areas. The use of IPS LED screen meant that there was a powerful colors and viewing angles were wider than on VA panel TVs. Sadly, motion handling wasn't equally as exciting, but the TV was still able to deliver a tremendous overall picture. You wouldn't expect HDR content to be better in the dark room, while its color saturation is good, but images 
just can get very bright at 350 nits in the sunny room. The lack of peak illuminance puts it behind the more expensive 8 and 9 series with more than 500 nits. Sony Android TV has all important apps available and easy to navigate interface. Finding settings and menu options is pretty straightforward and app selection from Google Play Store is very simple. So that uh, quad-core processor works fine and uh, that's very visible when we talk about the quality of games on Android TV which is much better than on Tizen, Linux or WebOS. It supports advanced graphics and it's, it has big selection of games. If you need better control, you can easily connect wireless gamepad. YouTube app works good, but we wonder why search keyboard isn't a little bigger. What is that? That is London. You still have full control over advanced settings, and the Android Media Player plays all major formats with subtitles, and it has a lot of options to customize. Built-in web browser is fine, but it could have more options for web page video playback. It is possible to connect Bluetooth mouse for faster clicking experience. You can get a clear and loud audio performance by hidden speaker standards. It's lacking a bit in low bass, but sound is projected quite well. The Sony XS7596 is not the fastest and the loudest TV on the market, but it offers one of the richest smart TV experience and it has that IPS wide view screen. It provides commendable multitasking performance for the reasonable price. The Sony XS75 maybe cost more than other similar TVs, but it still managed to outperform many of them with higher quality and brighter screen, making it an logical choice.